Hello everyone, welcome back. Many of you asked how to run the waifu diffusion on AMD card, so here you go. And it's actually surprisingly easy and very similar to installing a regular stable diffusion for the AMD card. Hopefully this will be a very short tutorial. First thing first, you need to understand how to install the regular stable diffusion on AMD card. And you probably want to follow this video here where I have a detailed walkthrough on exactly how to do that. A lot of the steps for installing the waifu diffusion model is the same as the regular stable diffusion. So I'll make it so much easier if you understand how to install the regular version version first. Highly recommend you watch that video first if you haven't done so already. And with that foundation in place, I'm going to walk through this uh, fairly quickly because a lot of the steps are identical to the process that I already covered in that video. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get started. Step one, you want to download this modified diffuser library code from this GitHub repository and you can find the link in the description below. This is the same repository you would have used for the regular stable diffusion that I showed in the other video. So basically just come to the site note you want to use the DML branch and click on this code and download the zip. Step two, you want to go to this site and download the Onyx nightly build library. This is actually the same one that we use for the regular stable diffusion. You want to download the version that matches to your Python version. I have Python version 3.9, so I'm going to get this one, the CP39. If you have Python 3.8, then you want to get the 3.8. And if you have Python 3.10, then you want to get this one instead. So just make sure that you get the one that matches to your Python version. This is the diffuser library that we just downloaded, and I'm going to unzip it to this folder because I already have a diffuser DML folder from my previous video. So I'm going to rename this one to diffuser DML waifu, and I'm going to unzip it to the same folder. This is actually the same code as we used for the regular stable diffusion. Now we have everything we need, so let's start the installation. We'll need to use the command prompt for the installation. So in your Windows search bar, simply type CMD. Right click on this icon and run as admin. I'm going to copy this folder path and come back to the command prompt CD for change directory to navigate into that folder. And for this one, I'm also going to create a virtual environment. If you don't want to use a virtual environment or you only use Python for stable diffusion, then you don't have to create this virtual environment because I use Python all the time for other projects. So I don't want to mess up with my Python settings. And that's why I am using a virtual environment. So feel free to skip this step if you don't want to use a virtual environment. All right, so first of all, let's install this Onyx Nightly Build Library. So this file that we just downloaded from here, this is basically a will file, which is a Python library. And we can use pip install to install this library. So let me navigate back to that folder, and I'm just going to type pip install, then copy paste the file name. So once this is done, I'm going into the diffusers DML waifu folder that we just created and copy the folder path. So CD into the folder. And in here, we're going to do pip install dash E space dot. This is going to install this folder as a Python library, basically. And once that's done, we also need to install three other libraries. So pip install transformers scipy fdfy. So the next step, we'll need to log into Hugging Face so we can download the model weights. And to do that, type Hugging Face dash CLI login. A lot of people had trouble with this step, so I'm going to do it slowly this time. So if this is your first time logging in, then you probably need to paste a token here, which you can get from this URL. Once you're on the Hugging Face website, click on your user icon and then go to settings, access token. And if you don't have one, just click on the new token to generate one. If you already have one, then just click on this one to copy the token. And then with the token copied, come back to this window here, to this common prompt window. Use your mouse to right click inside here and you won't see anything. But trust me, when you right click into the window, your token is already pasted here. I just did a right click and now I'm just going to press enter. 
I will say that login successfully. So you have to be careful here because this is kind of like a password. So it won't show you what you type there or what you paste there. So you can really see. So that's why make sure that you only right click into the window once, not multiple times. So now we have the hugging face login. Now let's go to the folder. This is going to be the important step. Go into this folder that we just extracted and go to examples, inference, and inside this save onyx.py file, you want to open this up in a text editor. Any text editor is fine. So you want to just change one thing inside this code. And on Hugging Face, you can find the waifu diffusion page here, right? So this is the other name and the waifu diffusion. So copy that and go back to your code. Replace this comp viz stable diffusion with the waifu distribution that you just copied. So Hakuri Waifu Diffusion and paste it there. And you want to save and close the file. And next, you want to run this file in your command line. So basically here, let's go into CD examples inference. So it's going to be CD examples inference. So basically you want to change the direction into this folder and then you can run Python save onyx.py. So now the program is going to download the model weights from the waifu diffusion hugging face page. All those model weights are saved here. So the program is going to come here and download all those weights and then convert those weights into Onyx files, which our AMD card can use later on. This is going to take a while to download and convert all the files. And while it's doing that, we need to make another change. So come back to this folder and in this file, DML Onyx, also open this up in the text editor. If you scroll down to the bottom, then you will see the same thing here. So basically replace this comp this stable diffusion with the same Hakuri waifu diffusion link and save the file. Okay, so the save Onyx file just finished running. I'm going to paste a prompt here that I copied from Reddit and save the file and run it with our waifu diffusion. Because I'm using AMD card, so it's going to take a while and I will be back when it's done. All right, that just completed because I was also recording, so that took longer than usual. Let's go into the folder, inference and DML1 PNG. So here you go. This is how you can use the waifu diffusion model with AMD card on a Windows operating system. That is all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.